Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to StarCraft 2 AI Arena where bots fight to the death. In the top left corner playing as the Red Zerg we have none other than Sajuk. And in the top right corner playing as the Protoss we have Sharp Spheres. So these two bots are currently placed in Division 2. Sajuk obviously is my own bot which is going to go for the only strategy that he knows, which is a two base roach. As for the Protoss, I won't spoil it, but this was actually the first match that I watched against against Sharp Sphere. So we go, we see here, starting the wall off down at the natural, starting with double gateways. Meanwhile, the Zerg going for its 16 hatch and taking a gas shortly after. So as we can see here, no speed mining from the Protoss. And for those who don't know what speed mining is, it is essentially a technique which allows you to micro your workers, as you can see here, um, to speed up your mining. And this is just based on the movement of your units. So if you let your roach, your, your roach, sorry, your drones or probes do the natural um, mineral dropping, they will slow down as they get closer to the town hall. However, if you queue up orders, they will not slow down as much, thus giving you about 5 to 6% extra minerals just for free. And so if we look at the APMs, this is clearly evident. As we can see, the Zerg player going with an average of 2000 APMs, while the Protoss currently has 0, and an average of 160. We see the Protoss completing the wall with a cybernetic score and queuing up a gateway in in the main. So as for units currently, about even in workers. But the Zerg already has an expand, while the Protoss is still adding on a robotics faci facility this time. Already a couple stalkers being built and warp gates being researched. The pool is ready for the Zerg and should be followed up quickly by a lair. Here it is going into roaches. So we'll see soon also probably a roach wiring going down and an evo chamber. No sign of an expand for the Protoss. Even though it does have 500 minerals, could easily spend on another Nexi. But it is going for a robotics facility and currently producing an Immortal, which is going to be great against the roaches that are coming for the Zerg. And it's going blind too because none of the bots have scouted their opponent. So the Immortal is not a reaction to seeing, for example, the Roach Warren. I assume, just like Sajuk, it's doing its own build. Alright, so even though the Protoss was floating some minerals, looks like good macro from both of these players. More gas coming in for the Zerg and queuing up Roach Research. So Burrow is coming up as well as Plus One and Tunneling Claws that just started. So we have an Observer here, so Tunneling Claws might not be such a good idea. Protoss usually have good uh, good amount of detection, so not sure if the uh, Burrow tactics are going to be that effective. Ooh, and we see a disruptor warping in just now. So this might be very dangerous. If the if the Protoss is going for a disruptor play, I'm guessing they have coded proper disruptor shots. And I have to tell you, Sajuk will 
probably not react to the disruptor shots so we'll see how good they are and how much damage they can get done because the zerg is going in for an attack now at the same time the protoss is taken and expand seems reasonably reasonably defendable here the zerg's going in because the wall obviously is not completely oh and you see the disruptor shot here is that three or four probably three roaches going down for a single disruptor shot no reaction whatsoever this is gonna be hard, especially if they keep adding on. We see a second one coming down soon enough. This is gonna be a hard position to break. Even the numbers might not do it because, well, the e AOE of the disruptor shots might uh, might be just too much. Going for the burrow tactics, but here we see the observer giving vision over the roaches. Ooh, and the disruptor shot right in the middle. E, this is not looking great. 15 roaches going down, 60, 16, sorry, roaches, and now going for a counter attack. The Protoss is going out with Immortal and two Disruptors, also supported by eight Stalkers, but as we've seen, like how many kills does it have? Four kills here, seven kills there. Massive value for these Disruptors. If we look at the units, I mean, the Zerg has the economy, 57 drones against 30 probes, but can it beat the army without reacting to the disruptor shots? I'm not sure. Creep spread also started. Workers here getting picked off. Oh. Might see some friendly fire here. Disruptor shot went really close to the to the other disruptor, trying to kill off the... Alright, so here again, another ooh, six kills probably in there. Nah, this is not looking great. What's the production tab looking like? Just four roaches coming in. And it just going on with an extra hatchery because it needs more larvas but the disruptor is here just staying out of sight which is probably good going for a shot here Ooh, massive drones yeah 33 drones 34 roaches going down this is this is sharp spheres game so yeah handling disruptor shots and stuff like corrosive biles and uh, reaper mines I think uh, would be very worthwhile. Cedric hasn't faced many Protoss players using Disruptors, but as we can see, just the three Disruptors completely destroying anything. 21 kills on that one. They're doing a funny little dance here. That's cute. Anyways, total kills 17, 21, and okay, just these two. But still, 38 kills and more to go. Whoops, some friendly fire here. Not sure that's uh, enough to help the Zerg win, but uh, I guess the Zerg will take whatever whatever <laughs> advantage it can get. The Observer is still there, preventing any any advantage from burrowing down. And in the back of this, obviously going for some economy. Two bases, 40, 44 drones, going for more gateways. Yeah, this is uh, this is a Protoss game. 25 now, three, zero and 20. Yeah, ooh, is that more friendly fire over there? Yeah, four stalkers lost. Perfect, perfect micro here from the Protoss. Not losing a single unit. Well, maybe it did lose a stalker or two to the roaches, but considering how much, look at these resources lost. And sure enough, the Protoss Sharp Spheres takes the game. Congratulations, Sharp Spheres. I'll have to work on dodging disruptor shots for sure. But right now, I'm working on scouting and reacting to cheeses, so it may take a while, but we'll get there. Thanks everyone for watching, and of course, there will be more, so stay tuned and see you in the next one.